Hey guys, welcome to a very special scouting video. I don't plan on doing much scouting in 2018 or the near future just because for the most part I've gotten everything I could ever possibly want in this game. So there isn't really much of a point for me to continue scouting. But I figure I might as well take this opportunity to make a video, which is secretly two videos in one. But uh, I thought it would be less work to do this, but it was actually more work to do this. So in the end, I was the one that got debated. Anyway, so if you remember about a month ago, we had the Christmas box. And that box was very special because it was the first time in the history of the game within like any version of the game in which the UR rate actually increased. Now the Japanese version of the game has never done this before so the fact that the worldwide English version was the first to do it is quite surprising and a lot of people did take advantage of that, myself included. So I thought it would be pretty interesting to kind of compare that box that was a a month ago with the 3% UR rate with like a standard 1% UR box which was the Halloween Kanan scout that I did promise I would scout in in order to try to get that card. So really the main takeaway from this video is to see how much more worth it would it be to scout in a box that had an increased UR rate and the results are probably not surprising. Like, it was interesting to see in retrospect, but it was not very surprising to say that, like, the 3% UR box is definitely worth a lot more. The only real question is when is it gonna come back, and I would have to guess maybe, like, the anniversary of the English game? So that's, like, a many months away, so if you do want to kind of, like, save up for the potential for another 3% box coming out in a few months, then it's probably like the best thing you could do if you wanted to get like a lot of UR cards. But yeah, pretty much I'll be doing 10 scouts from the regular Halloween Kanan box, 1%, and 10 scouts from the 3% UR box that happened a month ago. So this is obviously post-commentary for both of these because it was the only way I could uh, kind of create this comparison side-by-side -side video. So pretty much I'll do each of the scouts simultaneously and then I'll have like a brief pause segment where I'll just comment on each of the scouts like oh this is good or, or like oh this is much below average something along those lines but honestly like t pay close attention to the right side because those numbers are gonna shoot up and the whole reason I figured I would release this 3% um, scouting box video a month later it actually happened is because I didn't really want to tempt people to like spending all their Christmas money in like the game so I was responsible and just decided to wait a month uh, onwards to the scouts. So that was the first scout, and you, if you thought that was impressive for the right side, you've seen nothing yet, to be honest. Like, on the right side, there's, there were a total of three SSRs and four SRs, which means that there were actually more higher rarity cards than our cards in total for that scout, which isn't really something you can say all too often for, like, the 1% side, which uh, in our first 1% scout, we got only two SRs, but maybe we'll do better in the next few. So I'll be tallying on the top here uh, which side did the better scout. So the right side did the better scout for the first comparison, so it gets one point. And honestly, don't be surprised if by the end of all of this, the score will be 0-10. Like, that's just the power of this box. This 3% UR, 12% SSR box. Now do take it in mind that the SR rate 
for the 3% UR box was not altered, so that's really the only thing we can compare fairly here. So uh, throughout this video, do take note and see how close the SRs are to each other. And that's probably all you can really compare because the UR and the SSR count for the right side are just gonna keep going up. So the second scout is a little bit more insightful, where we only get one higher rarity card. But for the left 1% UR side, it was the guaranteed SR, but on the right 3% UR side, it was actually a UR that we got, so not looking too good for the left side. Only gotten 3 SRs and 2 scouts, meanwhile on the right side, like, I'm not even sure. Uh, like how many regular scouts it would take to actually get those numbers, but we'll see if it ever catches up to this um, current statistic. The third scout was probably the most interesting to compare because I'm spoiling the rest of the video, but this is the best scout for the 1% box, definitely. Not only is the UR Kanan that's featured the one that is obtained, but also we get an SSR and an SR, so we got like one of each rarity. On the right hand side with the 3% UR box, we got exactly the same thing. One UR, one SSR, and one SR. As for which side gets the point, I think it's fair to say that no side should get the point for this scout, just because they got exactly the same distribution of rarities, even though if I were biased and like take into consideration the type of card or the card itself, then the left side would be better because Halloween Kanon is a much better card than Devil Nico, but since we're only kind of looking at it from a rarity standpoint, then no side is better than the other side, so we'll just give both sides zero points for this one. Also, I think I owe you guys a reaction, but since this is post-production, I'll simulate what happened when I actually got the card. He's done it! The fourth scout was also pretty interesting because it's the first time that the left hand side 1% UR box actually beats the right hand side 3% box and only because for the guaranteed SR plus on the left hand side it was another UR whereas on the right hand side it was like a lot of SRs and SSRs so in terms of the number of high rarity cards the right hand side definitely beat the left hand side, but the left hand side had that one UR card which just makes it a lot better than the sum total of all the good stuff on the right hand side. So the first victory for the left hand side and probably the last, but we'll see. So that was scout number 5, and we're about halfway done now. 
we could really just stop here and with the numbers that we have, we could pretty much conclude that the 3% UR box is a sham, but the SSR rate for that box is absurd, like comparing one SSR with seven. So you would much rather have scouting in the 3% box, even if you didn't get a higher UR rate. But since we do have five more scouts after this, um, you'll see very shortly that the 3% UR box is not a sham. I haven't really said much during the last few scouts, mainly because there wasn't much to say. The 1% box didn't get anything good, like pretty average for the most part, yet the 3% box got a whole bunch of good stuff, just not any URs up until this point. And then we did get, finally, another UR for the 3% box, uh, but this is still kind of not too indicative of the 3% box being significantly better than the 1% box. And if you think that way, then this final scout will probably change your mind. So for the final scout, the 3% box shows us why it's the greatest thing to ever happen to this game, because double UR scouts happened so often when this box was a thing, like during Christmas and Boxing Day. Like, you go on Twitter, you go on the subreddit, you go anywhere, and like, oh look at all these uh, double UR scouts that I got from the box, because a 3% increase, or like a 3% total for the UR is a 300% increase to get a UR in each individual scout. So the amount of multiple UR scouts just gets astronomically better. And for the most part, I've lost motivation to scout mainly because of this 3% UR box since I know that they will probably release it again at some point, so why waste my gems on a 1% box when the 3% box... The numbers just speak for itself. 2 URs versus 5 URs, 2 SSRs versus 12 SSRs, and 16 SRs versus 24 SRs, 1% versus 3% box. I don't know about you, but I'm picking the 3% box every time, so... The only advice I can give to you is better start saving those love gems for whenever K-Lab decides to shove another 3% box our way. It could be tomorrow if they feel like it, but honestly, I would assume that the earliest would be the anniversary of the game. That seems like an appropriate time for them to reintroduce this 3% box, so 
now's a good time to start saving. Hopefully get a whole bunch of gems, and then you, can, you too can get a lot of URs when that box comes back again, hopefully someday. But yeah, hopefully this video was kind of insightful as to why I stopped giving a shit about scouting, uh, unless it's a 3% box, and uh, I wish you luck in your future scouting endeavors, whether it is 1% or 3%. But until next time, I'll see you guys later. Gosh, my